On this episode of the Redefine Show, Animal Edition, I showcase macro photography techniques and using varied lighting sources while photographing the littlest of subjects. We also learn just a bit about the beautiful butterfly. Enjoy. So we are here at the... Magic Wings Butterfly House at the Museum of Life and Science in Durham. Okay, and it's gorgeous in here. Well, thank you. That's what we're trying. First of all, about how many butterflies are in here? I didn't count this morning, but uh, <laughs> there should be roughly eight, nine hundred any time of the year, of the day, flying around. Okay. We buy 500 new ones every week, given a lifespan of about two weeks for each adult. That would give you about eight, nine hundred flying around. That's crazy to me that they only live two weeks. Like, it's kind of one thing to know that. It's nothing to see this little creature running around thinking, okay, you have two weeks. Go. Go, yes. Go. In our case, of course, it, these are all tropical ones, and they are very short-lived, or the lifespan, the life cycle is going very really quickly. But we're going to jump around and do some um, fun macro and some cool gel lighting and try to not, not do anything direct on the butterflies, but create an ambiance around it. And um, you know all their names? Almost all of them. Oh my goodness. This is a bamboo butterfly. <gasps> Those are from Central America. Oh my God, this coloring. Looks like they're painted. I wonder if I can get him to come up farther in my ring. <laughs> Just for like a hint of a foreground. It totally works. So one thing I'm gonna do with this is shoot burst mode and then um, just get closer and closer. And so, but that's usually how I shoot everything is get what I can get right then and then try to go and get it better. And time it to his opening his wings, which is, oh my Lord, did you just do that for me nice and slow? That was so nice of you. Don't mind me. I will never eat you, I promise. Okay, so one thing to keep in mind when you're shooting macro is first of all, watch your backgrounds because you don't need any more clutter because there's already so much going on with the butterfly. Um, you probably want to shoot in far more of an extended field of focus than you might normally shoot because as you get very, very close, which I'm about to do, you're going to actually have significantly less in focus than you think. Oh yes, I love that. So I'm walking around trying to get that backlighting because it's so, so pretty but I can also add a light behind the butterfly as long as he's hanging out there. It's not going to be too jarring. It's not like a big flash. And even we do a little strobe for some colored gels that I want to do, it's not going to be crazy. It's going to be kind of muted. Yeah. Great. Bring it up even more. Oh my gosh. I love that. <gasps> Look at that beautiful one. Oh my God. Cute. I scared it away by my enthusiasm. <laughs> Thank you. That is so pretty. Oh, what were you doing? Oh, Jesus. I'm shooting at a, um, obviously, a burst mode, but I'm shooting at a, like an F9, which gives me a lot of room. I'm shooting at a one, one thousandth of a second. And then I'm shooting up, which is super backlit, but shooting with um, spot metering. And then I'm just racing around, and I'm getting about one out of every 10 frames. But the one I get is awesome. And I do this a lot with children. That's how I photograph children. I run around, and I hold the camera to my side, and I interact with them. And I'll get about the same ratio of shots. But it's so worthwhile. All right, I want to start using uh, colored strobes. OK, let's get a strobe. All right, so I think in here we already have all this um, green, so I wouldn't want green. So the uh, magenta is on the other side of the green spectrum. So I'm gonna start with that. Let's go back like this and go up like, so it's going across the back. Oh my God, this is beautiful. I love this so much. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let's go, oh, hold on, let me get a couple more and I promise you I'll show you. They look amazing. Spoiler, they look amazing. Look at that. That makes me so happy. Oh, thank you so much for coming out. We've been looking for you. 
Come on, sweetheart, come back out again. All right. Oh, gotcha though, I got you anyway. That's so cool. Go, go there, go, go there, go there, go there, go there, go there. Oh, you are the best thing that ever happened. Shut up, you did not just do that for me. Okay, I'm doing burst mode and I'm doing rapid fire and nobody move. Go, fly, move your wings. Some of my favorite images were this sharp macro with a mossy green perch against what looks like a white backdrop and this full frame macro showing the extraordinary vibrant detail in the wings with what looks like bone structure. All in all, it was a magical experience.